What's going on guys? Welcome to Victims and Villains. If you are new to this channel, welcome. We talk about mental health through pop culture and introduce you guys to a couple cool flicks along the way. My name is Captain Nostalgia and today begins our very short, very limited coverage of one of my favorite film festivals, Final Girls Berlin. We are in the midst now of our very own film festival and kind of finalizing this year's lineup. I cannot wait to announce it. We have some gnarly things. But before that, you guys can get to see this movie that I'm here to talk about, Husura the Bone Woman. This movie tells the story of a couple who is getting ready to have their first child together and mother starts to see mysterious visions and finds out that the pregnancy is actually connected to something otherworldly so right out of the gate the thing i have to praise this movie for is the cinematography the cinematography is just absolutely incredible this is probably one of the things that i love most about watching movies from other countries is because i just feel like certain countries understand the art of cinematography like there's a, a nuance to it and i really appreciate that I'm probably going to butcher the name, but I really want to shout out the cinematographer on this one. It's near Rubio uh, Sherwell. I think they do an incredible job on this movie. This movie looks gorgeous from just absolutely front first frame all the way into the last frame of this movie. And I really think it's weird to say this. Even the credits look amazing. This movie is a really effective uh, like character study on the, the impending fears of parenthood like i think sometimes we don't like really talk about it but obviously there's a lot of like other films that explore like troubled marriages that uh think that if they put a child at the center and have like redirect it somehow it's going to reignite that spark and while that's not necessarily the the avenue that happens here i definitely think that that avenue that i just mentioned definitely is a definitely something where you have that impending fear front and center her Husea does definitely have that that fear front and center i think having a character like valera and following her not only through these visions but also through these moments of nostalgia where she's reminiscing her past and kind of the person that she used to be and who she gave up for not only her career but also her husband and in that aspect, this movie is not only a effective character study and psychological thriller, but it's also a really heartbreaking story. And it kind of feels almost like a cautionary tale, like sometimes the things that you think are going to bring you joy don't necessarily bring you joy. And I think that that, that mot motif is really well executed in this movie. I'm probably going to butcher her name, but Natalia Salarian, who plays Valeria in this movie, does a incredible job. Like, I, there's a lot about this movie that I couldn't connect to emotionally, mostly because I'm a cisgender male who can never get pregnant and will never understand those the fears that this movie addresses. But man, I was gripped and riveted by everything that this woman was feeling. And I feel like Husera really feels like an inside look at the female psyche of what it feels like for certain women during pregnancy. And you really feel every ounce of heartbreak this woman feels. And I think it's just really effective storytelling. I think likewise that also comes from the direction from director Michelle Garza Cervera, who not only directs this movie, it serves as co-writer with Abadina Castera, and again, I'm sorry if I mispronounce names, but I think that these women are just really dynamic at telling this story. I think with the fact that this is very much a character study, it kind of slowly transforms into a psychological thriller. It allows the dramatic elements and the horror elements to coincide really well. And again, I think it's the performances of this movie and how it also translates atmosphere past the screen and really kind of crawls on your skin. Partially also because of the cinematography, I think that it's just really well balanced. I think this movie is paced really marvelously. I think this is probably one of the best paced movies I've seen in a long time. There's never parts of the movie that feel like it drags. There's never parts of the movie that 
uh, you never feel like you're quite connecting to the characters because literally everything is an extension of a Solarian's character. And I think that works really exceptionally well in this movie. Like having a core character and having literally every aspect of the script revolve around her, whether it is the nostalgia for her old life or, um, you know, a troubled past and just everything that kind of comes with this this woman this character it just works really well all right so let's run this through our rorschach rating scale i'm gonna go ahead and give this one a 3.5 out of 5 i think this movie is really strong across the board performances the atmosphere the cinematography and you guys can check it out for yourselves when it hits uh theaters and vod beginning february 10th from xyz films this is the, usually the part of the video where i will talk about the mental health aspect of the movie or a theme of mental health that happens to be in the movie but honestly i don't feel very comfortable doing a film like this and talking about mental health i think this movie hits on the mental health of pregnancy impending motherhood uh, marriages and it tells it all from a female perspective and I really want to respect that and all of the creators involved in this not only that but also the programmers of Final Girl uh, Film Festival and really allow this film to speak the mental health for itself. So check out Hugh Sarah the Bone Woman when it hits theaters and VOD from XYZ Films on this, uh, February 10th and uh, be sure that you guys hit that subscribe button below and check out for our other coverage from Final Girls Film Festival and all the other films we're going to be talking about later this month.